back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Uh, if you are new, hello, hi, I'm Katie. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. So today I'm bringing you a rather large H&M haul. Um, so H&M, I'm gonna be honest, isn't somewhere I normally shop too much, but when I went on their website, I did get kind of excited by how many pieces I loved. Um, so it's a mixture of spring and summer pieces, and I think that you're gonna love them as much as I do. And basically I've tried to pair as much as I can together. If I have used anything that's not from this haul, I've linked everything down below in the description box. Um, they're ready for you in case there's anything you love. So if you do enjoy today's video, I'd love it if you could click the thumbs up button. Also make sure you hit subscribe for some good vibes, and let's just get straight into it. So the first item I'm going to talk to you about today is this really, really cute green midi dress. So it's got like little floral sleeves um, cuffed in as well. Um, and it's like midi slash maxi. It's like in between both and I'm kind of tall so it is generally in between both. Um, it's got a nice split up the leg which I really enjoyed. And also I just love the floral print on it. I think it's really cute. It's really versatile, easy to wear. You could like wear it for like day to night. You could wear it for a nice garden party, nice garden barbecue, you know, when we're free and we can actually do things like that. Um, so it was $17.99, which I think is an absolute bargain. Um, and I actually had 20% off when I ordered. So if I can find any discount codes, I will leave them down below for you. Um, the only thing, right, I'm just gonna start here because as I said, I don't normally order too much for H&M. So what I did find was I wasn't really sure what sizes to order when it said small, medium, large. And to be honest, I'm a UK size 12, so I've never ever been a size small in my life. Um, however, some of the mediums have been huge, some of the larges have obviously been gigantic. Um, and this, I think, I think H&M, I'm pretty sure, they had a thing on their website that you type in your sizes, your measurements, and then it tells you what size to order. Um, so most of them came up as a size 14 and typically when I have gone into H&M things have been really tight and I have generally gone up a size. I don't know what happened with this haul, everything seemed to be huge um, and I don't think I've lost any weight, like not to my knowledge have I lost any weight. I mean all my normal clothes fit me the same. So I think I would definitely stick true to size with the items that I've shown you but I will tell you what I ordered and how they fit obviously and then what size to go by in that sense. So this one I got in a size 14, which would have fit me perfect in a size 12, which is what I am. So I am gonna reorder this in a size 12 because I really love this and I think it's gonna be one of those pieces that you just, it's so easy to just chuck on. I'm obsessed with dresses because I just think they're just such, you've got a whole outfit in one. Like you don't have to worry about mixing and matching. You've just got a whole outfit in one and I think this is really, really, really gorgeous. I love this first piece. Um, I think you just get so much wear out of this. It can just be such a casual, like pop into the shops, or you could literally dress it for like a girls' night, date night. It's like an everything in one dress. So I think a great piece to start off with. So the next item is another piece that I absolutely love, um, which is this really, really cute, like broidery anglais top. I mean, sleeves are my favourite bit of this top. I just think they're absolutely beautiful, and you will see them in a bit more detail in the cutaway. I love the puffiness of it. If you've been on my channel before, you'll know I, how much I love a square neckline. I just think it's the most flattering thing. I don't know if it's just on me or if it's on everyone, but I personally love it. Um, so this top is just me to a T. It's a really gorgeous size um, length of the body, um, which I normally struggle with, like the length of the bodies, but I like this length because it's perfect to wear with like high-waisted jeans, high-waisted skirts, high-waisted shorts, anything, as you'll see I, in the cutaway, I think. I paired it with a few different things actually, but they were all high-waisted, so it just was lovely for that. I got this in a size 14. Um, I should have got a size 12, but it probably would have fit me perfect. Just get your normal size in this, definitely. I like the detail on the front, I think it's really pretty. It's got a zip at the side, which is handy to like pop on and off, very easy to get on and off, because quite often these things don't have stretch in. Um, and it's also from their Conscious Collection, um, which is 100% organic cotton, um, which I think is really lovely. So yeah, definitely go for your size in that one. This one hasn't got the price on, so what I will do is I'll write the prices of everything down below but everything was really reasonable i was really surprised and quite happy with ev the price of everything actually in this haul um i think the quality is really quite good with h&m which i never realized before and i think i'll definitely be ordering from the game the only thing was it was a bit confusing with the sizing but it's a bit hit and miss and i guess 
you can't go into the shops at the minute to try them on so it's good that i'm doing this video for you and telling you firsthand how everything fits <laughs> Okay, so another gorgeous piece, this lovely floral midi skirt. Um, it's pleated skirt and it's just gorgeous like chiffon soft pink. It's really, really pretty, really elegant, really girly. Um, this came in a large, so this honestly would probably fit a size 16 plus, the large. It's And it's stretchy. Um, it was just definitely too big actually looks really lovely on, on top of this how cute does that look um so yeah i think with this one i possibly could have gone all the way down to a small um being a size 12 that surprises me but generally i think a medium still would be too much room and you want it to be a little bit tight around the waist because just because it's so much float and it is stretchy as well i think you'd be fine going down a size in this one um, so I think the pattern's really gorgeous and I think this would look lovely with like a soft blush body um, which mine typically is in the wash so I didn't pair it with it in the video I pa paired it with um, I think just like a, a Zara body but um, which was more of a cream tone I think it would also look really cute with like a white crop um, so this is going to be really easy again you could wear it with some flip flops and nice and cash or you could dress it up with some gorgeous shoes like this which I am a little bit obsessed with and honestly they went with everything in this whole haul everything I ordered you can wear these with so don't tell me these are not a versatile pair of shoes because there's probably 20 plus items in this haul and they went with everything so these are absolutely stunning I got these in a size 8 um I think I've said to on my channel before that I normally I don't know what it is recently I just I think my feet have grown I've gone up a size in all shoes all shoes are just getting smaller I don't know what it is but I'm normally a size 7 and I wear a size 8 and they fit me absolutely fine. There's two different ways you can tie these, which I did show in the video as well. Um, I don't know how well I showed it, but <laughs> I tried my best and I just think these are absolutely gorgeous and perfect for spring, summer. They went with everything. I love the square toe. I love how strappy and elegant and like classy they are. They're just really chic and effortless and simple and beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so next I have a blue blazer. Again, it was too large. This I got in a UK 12, so you definitely go down a size on this one. Um, maybe if you have a larger bust, keep with your size, but I don't have that problem. Um, or blessing, depending on how you see it. Gorgeous um, blazer. It's like a, almost, it's not linen, but it feels like it, it's like a mixture of linen and cotton, is how it feels. Anyway, it's got really cute, um, like, tortoiseshell buttons. Really, really easy to just wear. Again, casual. Could just chuck it on over a little dress. Maybe not one with puppy sleeves. <laughs> Maybe not a dress with puppy sleeves. But you could always just pop on oh, a little white dress like this. Or you could pop it on how I've styled it in the video. Very, very versatile. Very cute. And like I said, go down a size on this one. The fit is like slightly oversized, but you still need to go down a size because it's huge. <laughs> it's just huge. Okay, so I was really actually excited. I don't normally, I'm not really like an accessories person normally. Like I normally buy a pair of shoes when I do a haul and maybe one bag. But I got three bags in this haul because I couldn't pick between them and I love them all. When I saw this one in the box, I was like, nah, I don't like it. But when I took it out, I love it. This is going to be my beach bag. This is literally really, really, I haven't taken these bits off yet. Um, but you can see they're just little tassels. And this is just gorgeous. This is going to go with absolutely everything in the summer. Like you literally. So yeah, this will be your beach bag for this spring, summer and for the beach. And I think it's just going to be one of those. It's actually like the perfect size for like a towel, a book, a water bottle, and your sun tan lotion and your phone. And your headphones, that's it. That's all you need. Just gorgeous, neutral, easy, lovely piece. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Next we got another really cute skirt. Again, far too big. Far, far, far too big. Fa -la 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 -la. Again, size 14. Am I surprised it's too big? I'm not a size 14. Honestly, h and what are you doing to me making me order these wrong sizes? Jesus. Okay, this one is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. It is absolutely a beautiful floaty maxi skirt. This is 
all the way down to the floor and I am 5 foot 10. So I'm very happy with that. Size 14, absolutely not. Size 12 potentially could even be too big still because of this back stretchy bit, which is fantastic. When you sit down, there's nothing worse than things being too tight. And this is gonna give you that freedom. Oh yeah. I mean, I think all things should have this on. I think maybe it was maternity skirt, I didn't realize. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, so again, there's no price on this one, so I'll leave a link down below in the description box. But I think this is really gorgeous, and again, could be dressed up or down, really, really casual, um, or you could dress up really pretty for like a barbecue, date night again, something like that, really easy. Nice little white body, nice little white top, or a little white crop again. Maybe like a little soft lilac-y cardi, um, nice pastel-y cardi, or something like that, just to bring some more color into the outfit. Um, but really just easy to wear, it's going to be super comfy, and you know how I am about the comfort life. Comfort over style. can't believe I just said that. Anyway, really, really nice, love that piece, definitely go down a size, not the size the H&M says. This, I already have a skit actually very similar to this, um, from Shein. So I won't be keeping this one, but I do think the colour is gorgeous. Um, it's just a pleated little pink like pastel pink skirt. I got this in a size 12. The fit was nice on this one, but there was a little bit of room, but it was nice. Uh, again, this price isn't on it, sorry, so it'll have to be linked down below. And um, I think this one would be really cute if it was a squat, you know, with shorts underneath, because it's one of those things, it's gonna be super comfy and like chill to wear, but you'd feel so much comfier in it if it had a little shorts underneath it. So I think that would've been a nice little touch to that. Um, and again, it actually would look really cute with a little top like this. And I think in the cutaway, I paired it with a little white um, top that I showed you earlier. So I really like this piece and I definitely would probably keep this one if I didn't already have a skirt very, very similar, um, which is pretty much exactly the same, but it's a different material and that's, and that's all. Um, but yeah, I really like this piece and I'm sizing, go for your actual size. Okay, so next I've got two pairs of paper bag trousers which I love. I think these were 17 99 if I remember correctly. Um, and I got these in a 14 in one size and a 12 in the other size, just to see how the fit was. Because I normally do struggle with trousers um, because I'm tall, I've got a smaller waist, and i got a big butt with chunky thighs. And that's not a bad thing, I'm not saying that in a bad way. That's just what I have, like, that's my shape. So I do struggle with trousers normally. Both of these trousers, however, fit me <laughs> lovely. So if you want them to fit a little bit loose, then perhaps go up a size, but you can buy your size and it did fit, but there was it was more on the tighter side. So it's just if you want a loose fit or a tight fit, and then obviously go for your size. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I'm getting my words mixed up. But I really, really like the khaki pair personally a little bit more than the pink, which I never thought I'd say. The pink is more like a rose colour, which I do like. Um, but I'm more of like a dusky pink kind of gal than a rose gal. So it's hard to tell online. I always think pink's are hard to tell online, which it's always best to just order it and then send it back if you don't like it. Um, and it's not that I don't like them. I do like them and they are really cute and they fit nice. I just generally prefer the khaki. Um, I think I would wear them more, they feel more cash, and I feel like you could dress them up as well a bit more. Um, yeah, I just I just prefer them a bit more, which I never thought I would say. You can tie this obviously like nice and loose, or you could tie it in like a pretty bow like I did in the cutaway. And I think these are really good value for money. Nice plain white body, nice plain black body, nice pair of heels, super easy to dress up. Daytime, nice pair of, what are those flip flops called? I want a new pair of big and socks, nice pair of big and socks, black body. Literally day and night outfit, you check all you do is change your shoes. Easy, black blazer over the top. <whistles> or, all nude, nude blazer. <whistles> I'm getting excited about all these outfits. But yes, very, very easy to dress day to night. I feel like I like things to be day and night because you feel like you're getting your money's worth for them. I'm going to talk to you about this dress actually next, which as you can see is, is a little on the large side, which is a shame, because if it wasn't, it's a really lovely length, which I find hard to find um, when I'm buying shorter dresses, in the sense that they're not midi or maxi, 
I find it hard for me to find ones that are the right length, they're not too short. On someone who is shorter than me, it may be a little bit long, it might come down to the knee, but if you like that, that's fine. Um, so this is really gorgeous. I can't put this in a medium. So this is what I mean about the sizing. If I got this in a small, I'd worry me it wouldn't, it would be a bit tight here, but because I like it so much, I am gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna order it in a small and see how it how it comes. Um, so yeah, try and go down the size on this one. So if you normally are a medium, get a small. If you're normally a large, get a medium. Um, I love this. I love the puffy sleeves. I think it's just gorgeous. I actually really like the neckline. I'm not too fan of like really low cut necklines, but I think occasionally when you've got something that's like cute. You can sort of get away with it. It takes because you can be a little bit sexy and cute. Um, yeah, so I really like the length on this. So it's got plain buttons on the front, and then just like just really cute. I just, I just don't even know what to say about this. Again, you can pop up a dom with a little pair of heels, a little blazer, super cute for the evening, or just wear it chill in the day with those really cute white sandals and a little bag. A little bag like this, maybe. Super sweet. Oh. Look at this. This this bit this is just a baby. This is okay. So this is natural straw though, which is nice. Um, so it's got a long handle, or you can put the handle inside the bag and make it a little clam clutch, which I think is just adorable. I think this is so lovely. It's gonna be so nice for like a bag on holiday. I mean, if you want to wear it for like day. I wouldn't probably wear it as a clutch, I'd probably wear it as a strap, but I think you can then take it to like a night bag by wearing it as a clutch. So again, we get that day to night thing that I like, so you get both your money's worth. <laughs> Basically this is just how I convince myself that it's okay to buy and keep things. <laughs> I don't keep everything in this haul though, I just wanted you to know that. Perfect little new, this is more of a summer bag isn't it, let's be fair, this is a summer bag, but it's cute and I could not show you it. So, not too much left, a few little random bits to go um, and one dress which I don't really understand this dress at all but I'll show you that in a bit. <laughs> so next I got two pairs of the same pyjamas but again because I didn't know the sizing I got two different colours in different sizes. So this is the medium in like a really cute sky blue um, and the bottoms on these are really plain and then I'll show you in a minute the bottoms on the sort of like a creamy colour are really pretty so I'm not really sure why that is because they're exactly the same otherwise. Um, I think it's really pretty, the medium fit me better than the large, the large was gigantic on my waist especially the bottoms, the top I could probably get away with but the bottoms were huge and I normally don't mind that with PJs but they were like gonna fall down huge um, whereas these were a nice fit so really plain silky nice little lacy so they're like cute but sexy at the same time so you don't feel like you know I think we all like to feel nice well I personally like to feel nice anyway when I'm just chilling around the house I'm pretty sure they were really reasonable as well. I think they were like £15 or £20 max. So I'll show you the creamy ones. And I like this one more. Although I did think it was going to be more of an ivory. And as you can see compared to the white that I'm wearing, it's a very creamy like colour. But it's still really, really pretty. Really delicate, really dainty. And that I just love this called like eyelash lace. I just think it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh, stunning. Stumbles. And this is all I'm going to show you. On on these shorts, as you can see, they're a lot bigger. They have this really beautiful bit at the side. And I was like, why don't the blue have that? I don't know if they added it for like extra material or they just forgot to put them on the blue. I don't really know. I'm going to check on the website after and have a little look um, why they're different. But anyway, this one, I also got uh, the dressing gown to go with. Because at the minute, I've just... All I've got for a dressing gown is like this big pink fluffy thing and I literally look like a marshmallow fluff ball. <laughs> to be honest, it's a bit warm for it at the minute so I was like, oh, I'll get myself this to go with it. Really gorgeous. I got this in a medium to large. Now, I'm going to, I have put it on already but I didn't really think about the size when I put it on. 
No, the size of this is lovely. The size of this one is really nice. Um, so the medium to large is lovely in that one. Um, I love it. I think it's really gorgeous. It's got, again, the eyelash lace down the sides. And then it goes, what I love about it, it goes all the way down the sides. And when I was looking online, this is actually what, this piece is actually what sparked this whole H&M haul. Because I was looking online for a satin style dressing gown. And they were all stupidly expensive, like like £90 plus, which I think, okay, you are going to probably have it for years and years and years, because you, when you think about how long you have dressing gowns for, cost per wear, you probably get a lot of cost per wear out of it. But I didn't really want to spend that kind of money on something, I didn't know if I was going to wear it very much. So when I saw this one, with all this gorgeous detail, I was like, I'm sold. And this is actually what inspired the whole haul. So anyway, this is really gorgeous. However, I did think it was ivory, not this custardy cream colour, but I do really like it, it is really pretty, I'm just not sure if I will keep it because I wanted it to be more of a white, I am more of a white kind of girl, so let me know what you think about the colour of this and if you would keep it or not, let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm nearly done. So, three items to go. This is a really cute, plain, simple body. I got this in a size medium, and the fit was lovely, it was really comfy. The only thing I would say, I think it's gonna stretch, but it probably will shrink again when you wash it. So I had it on for a little while, I was taking some snaps for Instagram. If you're not following me over there, please head to my page now, after this video, and follow me, at with love Katie. Also, if you want to shop any of my pictures on there, you can follow me on the Like to Know It app as well, uh, which is at with Love Katie as well, with two underscores. Um, so this was, I think this was really reasonable, I think it was like £8.99 or something, and if they had these in like every colour, I would definitely get them. What I would do though is maybe try the small as well, so I'd order. So I probably would order this in a small to try and see which is the best fit, um, if I was going to get it in a few colours, because what I'm like, if I like something and it's a plain piece of this, I'd rather just get this one in like three or four colours and then you've got it. Like I don't think there's any need to like look for loads of different bodies and different shapes. If you like this, you like this. It is kind of low and it is kind of plungy, but I think because I don't have much boob, I feel like I can get away with it and I kind of liked it. So yeah, really nice, easy, simple piece and I maybe would go down a size in it to be honest. Like so this is medium, I'll probably go down, yeah, probably try and small. See how it fits everywhere else. That's the only thing. If it like maybe maybe it'll be shorter in the body, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the thing that I'm a little bit confused by. Like online looked super cute and I was totally sold. And actually on, I felt like I could kind of pull it off. Um I think it's just the the noise of the material that puts me off it a bit. It's like swimming no, it's like a raincoat material. That's the thing that I find bizarre about it. I think if it's a different material, it would be like, fine. The shape of it is pretty cool. However, it has these bits up here, which I'm really confused to what they are. I don't know if they're maybe to like, loop this around and tuck it to keep these on, because obviously you're gonna need them for when you're hanging it up. That's my only possible conclusion for it. This is again from the H&M Conscious Selection. Um, I do love how like just frill and chill it is. Like it's literally one of those pieces you're gonna put on and just be like, it's a bit statement, but a bit not in your face at the same time, which I like. That's that's my kind of style. I want to look really nice. I want people to be like, oh my god, she looks really nice, but I don't want to be like, oh, she's trying really hard. It's really in your face. That's not my style at all. So this I got in a medium, and it's obviously it's meant to be oversized, but I think I probably could have gone down to the small. Yeah, I could have gone down to the small on this one definitely. I don't know if I'm using my arm as a hanger right now. Because I can't be bothered to go and get a hanger. That's how lazy I am today. Is anyone else just knackered in lockdown? I'm just tired all the time. Just that. Nice. Anyway. I do really like this. I think it's really chill. And I think it would look nice for a black pair of just like beard and socks. Super chill. Um, for my kind of style, if you are someone who can pull off things like Dr. Martens and that, I think it would look really cool with those. But that is not my style at all. As you can see, that's the only black piece in this haul. I do wear black, but more feminine, girly black, like things like that with frills on. Um, so I think it would look pretty cool with those kind of boots, but not my style. Last item to show you. 
is this really cute bag. Look how pretty it is. I've had my eye on pearl bags for a, a while now. And if this had like a, a stiff handle, I would have been sold. This would have been a keeper. But for me personally, clutches piss me off. They're all right because you can keep them like this. But carrying them like this drives me nuts. And it's a really cute, it's actually a really good size. But I wouldn't, I don't, I actually don't look kind of cute. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't go right like this. Oh, it does actually look quite nice. <laughs> I might be really sorry, I just think I just sold it to myself. I think actually it looks really sweet with this dress. How sweet does that look? Okay, I've, I've decided that it's what I, it's just gonna be day as well, but I didn't bake before. Oh, this looks cute. Oh, I'm sold. I like this one. I actually think I prefer it to this one now, which is crazy. I'm gonna have to put that one on to see. Um, so it has got a strap, the strap is like, a nice length, as you can see. Um, but you can, again, which I like, you can put that inside and it does clip off as well, so you can turn it into the clutch. I'm pretty sure this bag was about £19, £19, £20. So with a discount as well, it's like £18. I think it's really reasonable. I do think I would have preferred a little handle, but I did think I just saw it to myself by putting it on mine. So yeah, so that is everything from today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below your favourite item. Um, and if you go ahead and buy any pieces, I'd love to hear what you get. And please feel free to reach out to me over on Instagram. We've got a giveaway coming up over there soon. Um, when I hit, I don't know what it is on there, 5k, I think. <laughs> I don't even know, my brain's just fried. Um, but I will be having a competition with lots and lots of prizes. So not just one, one person winning, actually lots of different people winning. So I just think when people do a giveaway, it's nice to for lots of people to win the prizes rather than just one. So yeah, make sure you head over to my Instagram and follow me over there. Also, if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays and Sundays. Sundays always haul day, but I'm thinking of adding another day of fashion into the week because there's just so much nice stuff at the minute and I can't keep just down to one video a week for you guys. Please remember to hit the subscribe for good vibes and I hope to see you in the next video. See you soon! Yeah. Bye!